<laughs> gang, gang. Buzz, buzz. Back off my broccolini. Get your life together. It is. Don't touch me, bro. I'm not touching you, dude. Show on Earth. Dude, you seem like a guy probably that gets lost at the mall still. Speaking of mall, you ever been to Mall America? Very easy to do. You ever been to the mall in Edmonton? Dude, there's American e- There's four American Eagles at that Mall of America. Dude, and there's a real, I saw a bald eagle there too by the popcorn thing. Yeah, there's a lot of birds. Yeah. They just live there. Crazy. Crazy, bro. We Are we live? Oh, yeah, you guys are going. Are guys. we up? Oh, we are? Ooh. Oh, man. Well, <laughs> All right, what's up, boys? Came back from lunch, had that wet wet kid there, huh? Yeah, you notice that? Yeah, the waiter was wet. Yeah, you ever shake somebody's hand and it's a wet hand? You ever shake the salamander's hand? That was this kid. <laughs> he looked like one of those wet tree frogs. Yeah, he had the, He kind of really seemed like a young man who was... It didn't make sense. The AC was cranking. No one else was wet. <laughs> he seemed like somebody who kind of swims to like a surface to breathe, you know? He had a very wet like you try to shake his hand it would slip out of your hand it's like his mom fucked the tadpole you know every time i try to shake his hand it just kept like a fin almost yeah just a wet hand he was very he seemed like one of the wet bandits from home alone you know <laughs> like a real wet bandit like a human seal you're seeing a seal right when they get out of the water is real shiny oh i told him i tipped him four dollars extra because he spun that ball on his nose did you notice that <laughs> i did see that that was cool a nice sandwich and a ball spin. But he really had a, lot a, moist, oh, what, dude, <laughs> a what sandwich and a ball, ball spin. You've been getting lunch at a massage parlor? <laughs> <laughs> that Sammy and that B spin, huh? That salad and you that. Just spit all over yourself. Did, bro. <laughs> Laughing. Help. Did I drool? I yeah, think it's cute, dude. man. You're going to go to heaven, I bet. Thanks, dude. I think the wet guy's going to go to heaven. Oh, yeah. That Mine guy. came straight from the rainforest. I'm talking, this boy was wet. Bro, it seemed like he worked maybe also, he, he probably worked at Bed Bath and Bath. <laughs> <laughs> Very damp young fella. Uh, you ever just meet somebody? And I remember patting him on the back and some of it splashed up into his hair. I was like, I'm telling you, I've never seen someone so wet in my life. <laughs> like he was an extra off Waterworld or some shit, <laughs> just fucking gills and just the moisturizer. <laughs> and everyone else is dry. Yeah, he had his own little climate going. And also, if you notice right up here in his clavicles, they had a little bit of algae. Maybe he's a magician of some sort. You like know, what, a water magician? Trick. Yeah, like a water. But yeah, explain this. I want to hear more about this. Aqua David Copperfield, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, David Aquafield, maybe. Wet David Blaine up in this bitch. Yeah, dude. Made a nice sandwich as well. And how about the other, it's an interesting place over there. How about the other young gentleman with the toupee and acts like it's just all good? Okay, well, we just went from <laughs> the place we were at could have been anywhere to now very specifically the place we were at. How? How? Because any the other way there, we could have just been anywhere. It could have been no one knows where. Now, people know there's also a young fella in there with a toupee, dude. And it's not a good one. You don't think? <laughs> I think it's good. Oh, I walked in and went, oh, sweet toupee. Well, look, man, a lot of our forefathers had toupees, dude. They call them big wigs. You know, that's where that term came from. So they'd wear wigs. Really? So the term big wigs came from them when big wigs. Hmm. Yeah, this guy, I get, is it a toupee definitely you think? 110%. Do you, how good are you at guessing a toupees? Can you bring up a couple of toupees and, and then also some just regular hair and see if you can pick the difference? <laughs> Well, let me, here, here's the best one. Steve Martin, toupee. He started going bald at a young age and just decided to go toupee. Did he? I didn't notice that. This guy's toupee looks like uh, looks like a shitty yarmulke. That, who, that guy over there? Yeah. He looks like a real fluffy yarmulke. Yeah. That yarmulke, boy, that hair wallet. That's what I call it. Yeah, that hair purse. <laughs> well, sometimes you see... Uh, looks like of... a brown clam on his head. Damn. <laughs> His has a very ocean tide on it. That one, he has that style. Yeah, that. That's what he had. <laughs> yeah, that's I swear it. to God, he has that. It's glued on. And it's like you don't give a fuck. Like you just like, hey, you know, well, damn, dude. I love it, actually. I think a toupee, I can't believe they don't have more of them, really. I can't believe people are just showing their bald head to the world. I feel like it's so nude. <laughs> I agree. Take a little pride in yourself and get a wig, bro. Yeah. I tell Callan to get a wig all the time. Like, if it's going, dude, toupees are fun. Yeah. Like, that guy might have that style. And they say, <laughs> show up, get a jerry curl. Oh, you could do a finger wave the next day, or you could do a... Um, Some bangs, if you want. Bang it up. Yeah, bang it out, son. 
Yeah, I think if you had a toupee, the opportunities are endless. Actually, they had, um, we just did a King and the Sting post on the Instagram, and they had a beautiful set of hair actually on Derek, if we can zoom in on that. <laughs> uh, oh, where he's basically Beyonce. Some very unique hair, and also chin, if you notice. Chin, if chin feels right at home there. Yeah. He looks right at home. He is wearing glasses now because he thought he had a tumor. Turns out he just... Turns out he just didn't know where he parked his car. Turns out he just lost his keys. <laughs> yeah. It's not a tumor. He just lost his keys. Yeah. And uh, they asked him to wear glasses now so he can find his keys. <laughs> <laughs> That's nuts, man. I the chin could rock a toupee even. Well, why doesn't he, man? What a pussy. Here's my thing. I don't mix it up. <laughs> You're that strong. Fun. You're 6'3". It's a half ounce of hair, dude. It's not that heavy. It's not going to hurt your neck. Well, the old days, you know, the original toupees were very heavy, and people don't know a lot about that. You'd have a four pound... You know, it had a leather base. You had a four pounds of hair and four pounds of leather and hair. Not these days, man. You don't. My hair started go. I'd be a different hairstyle every day. I'd be like a black girl. Really? One day my shit would come in pink. Next day it'd be blue, silver, black, short. With long. a martini glass in it. Sometimes you'll see like uh, in Louisiana, you see a girl. She have like a, you know, a martini glass. Oh, she have that out shrimp cocktail yeah. hanging off the side. Oh, she'll have five shrimp hanging off the edge of, edge of her hair at the top. <laughs> I like it. Personally, I enjoy that. Dude, I love a snack, you know? Yeah, me too. Better than the basic bitches out here. I'll, whoa. Well, I'm just saying scared Cats to wear out wigs. Here. I'm not saying cat. Cat, would you ever wear a wig? Um, you don't need to. I thought about it, but that's only because I don't want to dye my hair again. Mm. I do miss colored hair. You know what's weird is when women wear wigs like to, to foreplay. Bitch, it's, it's you with a wig on. Like, I'm not that dumb. Well, what if they put a mustache or something on? It's you with a mustache. Yeah. Let's bring other chicks into the room. What? <laughs> oh, I see what this is about, huh? Is there a lot of um, wigs or prosthetic hair in uh, Asian culture? A lot of extensions, not necessarily wigs. Mm. I think they're now catching on to wigs. Probably the easiest uh, ethnicity to fake a wig because you guys here is just straight and black. Like, yeah. There's not a lot of variety. Not a lot of variety. Our Everyone hair is like, really difficult to dye. Is it really? Mm -hmm. It's so goddamn dark and fine. Wow. Yeah, my hair doesn't lift as well. I used to have purple hair. It took me a hot minute to get there. Damn. I bet mm -hmm. you have cool with purple hair, Kat. I look like a superhero. Like well, an X-Men, honestly. Oh, I could see it's that, huh? Dope. Damn. Like an ex-wife, huh? That storm. <laughs> <laughs> like that triple X. Yeah, fucking Lisa Kraft, baby. Hell yeah. Tomb Raider. Knock, knock, who's there? An advertisement. Look, part of a, of adulthood, I think, is doing things that you do not want to do. Doing your laundry. Yeah, sneezing. Getting gas. Oh, getting but, gas. Finishing off a, a, a bag of peppermints by yourself at night. A Foot long burrito. <laughs> Grow Ooh. up. You know what I'm saying? You also, you never know when you're going to go. So yeah. being an adult, you got to get some life insurance. Yeah, look, if you're not listening to this right now, <laughs> it might already be too late, man. You might be deceased. So what we're saying and is. We're not talking to you then. <laughs> yeah, we're not talking to you. But right now, what if one of your friends is listening to this and you could have handled things better for yourself <laughs> and for them by having a life insurance policy? You're talking about policy genius. <laughs> It's the easiest way to shop for life insurance online in just two minutes. You can compare quotes from top insurers to find your best price. Yep, it makes life insurance easy. They can help you find the right home insurance, life insurance, auto insurance, and disability insurance. You All think you're going to be disabled? Bet on yourself. All insurance, man. So if you need life insurance, but you just don't want to deal with all the, the legwork and the hassle, head to policygenius.com right yep. now. It's the easy way to compare all the top insurers, find the best values for you. Policy Genius, delegate what you hate, especially if you hate getting life insurance. Trying to keep the lights on. Dude, I got to apologize to you, Brendan. I know, you know, I sent you something for your birthday. When was your birthday? Uh, March 18th. Yep. It still haven't received it. You haven't. And, and I you messed also, up. 
You messed up because you didn't use ship station. No, I did not. You did not use it. That's why we use ship station. It's the fastest, easiest, most affordable way to manage and ship your orders, dude. Yeah, I gave it to this dude, Vernon, and he was supposed to bring it over there. Dude, you can't do that. You got to go to ship station. No matter what you're selling. It was very nice. No matter what you're selling, no matter what you're shipping, Amazon, XC, your own website, want to send your friend birthday gifts, ship station brings you all your orders in one simple interface, making them really easy to manage for any device even your cell phone oh yeah yeah if you uh if you're running a small business especially ship station helps you get orders out quickly save money on shipping costs and keep your customers happy it works with all the major carriers including usps fedex uh ups even amazon fulfillment all of them no wonder ship station the number one choice for online sellers just ship more in less time with the best rates available and right now, our listeners can try ShipStation free for 60 days when you use promo code CATS, K-A-T-S. Yep, which is how Brendan naturally spells it. There's absolutely no... I'm just joking, bro. You're good, dude. Well, but I, sometimes I joke too much. There's absolutely no risk. You can start your free trial without even entering your credit card information. Just go to ShipStation.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in... Cats, K-A-T-S. Yep, that's ShipStation.com. Then enter promo code K-A-T-S. Support the podcast. Let's do it, huh? Cat Let's start Raider. it up. The Cat Raider. <laughs> All right, boys. Uh, we'll get into the, to some debate club. Uh, Real first. quick, KD, would you ever do braids? You trying to me? do cornrows? I've done braids before. What no. about cornrows? I don't like that Kawhi Leonard, Allen Iverson look, man. It's a little too yeah. much, it's isn't it? It's a little it? too much, bro. I don't need all that in my life. You Unless know? you're doing drive-bys. Yeah, I feel you. Because <laughs> you have an old school. You kind of have that Frederick Douglass kind of freelance I, style. I like that Frederick Douglass. That look, Liberation man. Station, yeah. bro. I like girls. that. The Liberation. Have you ever dyed your hair or no? Mm-mm. Ooh, black guy's dying is tough. Really only yeah. blonde, yeah? Yeah, and you also have to be a receiver. For the you got to be on the, the Cleveland NFL. Browns. Oh, yeah, yeah that's and true. And really good at catching balls. <laughs> yeah, they don't let yeah. you do it unless. Yeah, you got to be OBJ or whatever. <laughs> OBJ. OBJYN, dude. That guy's turned in. <laughs> yeah. He's kind of turned into a pussy, bro, to be honest with you. <laughs> the dyed hair, the team, the dance moves, dude. Was he on Dancing with the Stars? Sure. He will be. That was that was uh, Cruz, but I feel you. All right, let's. Victor Cruz is a G, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, hot sauce all over your face. But also, what, um, that guy was a. Wet, bro. The waiter is so yeah. wet. I can't get over it, dude. So wet, dude. So there wet. was a tr- little treasure box, like an open fake treasure box down by his feet. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> this guy's damn. Dude, you he know? looked like one of the guys off of um, the Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> that come out of the sea. He looked oh. like one of their men. Yeah, he looked like the Caribbean, dude. Yeah, like he was wet. <laughs> he just had puka shells on coming out of the fucking <laughs> restaurant. Just wet, huh? Bro, he was dripping. He kept pulling, yeah, shaking the water out of his eyes. <laughs> Weird. He had little birds just sipping off of him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, he was a real, he seemed like a real kind of, you know, kind of like a wet guy, you know? Oh, yeah, I feel, it's such an interesting bunch over there. Between him and the toupee dude, man, it's always a fun time in there. Oh, yeah. Hmm. And then you go and get coffee, and you got the... I wonder you know, if they have beef in there. I wonder if hair and damp have straight beef, bro. Oh, Ooh. well, if they do, you better put that shit on the grill and kill it, dude. That's what I'm saying, boy. <laughs> kill it, bro. Usually, people that do meat shoot it before they put it on the <laughs> no, grill. No, I'm saying if there's beef, you better squash it up and grill it, bro. <laughs> squash it Because we don't, we don't need that in the restaurant, bro. What? You're wet, you're getting... <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. Oh, my God, It's a new man. series coming to Netflix, Wet and Gay. <laughs> bro, Wet and Gay? Bro, we had this two, these two kids, <laughs> at, these two girls in our town growing up, people called them Lurtzen and Derm. That was her name. <laughs> Lurtzen and Derm? Lurtzen and Derm. Because one of them had, you could see kind of her gums, and they called her Mr. Ed, but if you spell it backwards, it's Derm. And the other one had kind of big nostrils like me, and they if you spell nostril backwards, it's Lurtzen. So it was Lurtzen and Derm, that's what everybody called them. What a great t-shirt name. Kind of a cute pair, really. Were they cuties? Yeah, pretty sexy, man. I feel like if the... Regionally the, sexy, you know? I feel like if the toupee and the wet got together, it'd be a, they'd be a cute pair. Oh, yeah. Anything could happen over there, some bro. some aqua socks on your boy and get busy. Oh. 
Yeah, it's a really unique. That guy has his own little climate going on. Yeah, dude. Fishes in the front, fishes in the back. <laughs> Cumulus in the front. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get into this, dude. Okay. Up first, we got Jack Steele. This is Jack Steele. Great name. Hey, Rat King and Big Brown, we got a debate club for you today. Hey, that's racist. Water slides or coasters of rollers? <laughs> Me, myself, big roller coaster guy. I like them slides, boy. We be slipping and sliding out here. <laughs> them boys on them. Hey, gang, gang. Buzz, buzz. Buzz, buzz, my high friends. Um, <laughs> roller coasters or water slides? Which one is it? Uh, I'm not a big water slide fan, to be honest with you. I'm a little traumatized as a young man on a water slide. But the water slide also, it's such a hassle at those water parks. You got to have the aqua socks on. Those things suck. You're on the sun all goddamn day. You're eating funnel cakes and sugar. Next thing you know, you're on the lazy river. It's a nightmare. What are we talking about? We're talking about <laughs> water slides or roller coasters, bro. And one time I was at a water park, right? And it was but when they first came out. You know when they had like the tidal wave and you mm -hmm. could surf it? Well, I decided to get on that. I was young, oh. man. And I got on there, and the thing shot me out and ripped my pants off. Did it my shorts. And the entire park saw my dick piece. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my dad tried chasing me, so it made it I worse. bet it took him a while to see it, too. No, nah, everyone was um, like, it's a snake. <laughs> it's a coral snake in the water. <laughs> Nah, that man. waiter swam up with a tray. I bet huh? <laughs> <laughs> he works work. at a waiter park. I bet <laughs> <laughs> no scuba gear required. Um, what is up with these guys? Are they stoned? It seems like they're a little drugged. Yeah, up, them I boys think. a little drugged up. Debate club Devil's lettuce. Let me see. Water slides, dude. Water slides. Uh, good way to catch herpes. Here was a crazy thing. I remember growing up, they had a water slide at this place, Lando Pines Campground. And somebody would do diarrhea on the slide. Oh, and then here's what they would do. Here's what, here's what the move. Damn. They would shut the pool down for five minutes at the bottom. Everybody would get out. Then they would just have us go again. Like, <laughs> like that. <laughs> cleaned everything out. Yeah, dude, yeah. <laughs> and they had turtles. They had a, they had a big pond right next, like a, just a natural pond, like just a little, like a, you know, like a very, very little bitty lake, you know? And they had some redneck turtles in there, huh? They're the ones with the red. I'm not saying derogatory term but they're turtles with red on their neck oh yeah yeah, yeah. they had turtles Standard. yeah they'd have a turtle with a damn mullet in there you know <laughs> and uh <laughs> and a nascar number yeah. on his shell <laughs> oh man small hands in the back you know turtles in the front <laughs> turtles in the back wet boy and some every now and then somebody get a turtle and take it down the slide with them and leave it in the pool at, at the bottom of the slide was an actual pool and people would get pissed in there and turtles don't do well in chlorine it was fun though, man. It was exciting and uh What and was the name of the place? Lando Pines. And then you get you a one of them Barks root beers, the red root Ooh. beer. And your whole mouth would get stained red and your whole face even when you were a kid. Fuck yeah. And then you would just want you'd be freezing cold after you got out of the water slide, you know, and just drinking that barks and just get your lips all red and just wander off into the woods. That's that bunch living, of brother. Pedophiles back that's there. living though, brother. Chucking and diving them pedophiles, but that's living. I didn't have the pedophiles, but that's living. But you send a cold kid back there with fucking almost lipstick on his mouth, dude, from that Barks red soda, bro. Legit point, and the kid's trying to warm up. Oh, yeah. That's pedophiles trying to get off. Crime in the front. <laughs> crime in the pedophiles back. Pedophiles in the front. <laughs> Petties in the back. Uh, but yeah, these guys, I think you got to go roller coasters, man. I don't like having to put on the, you know, the 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 the, the wet clothes and do all of that. It's such a hassle, isn't it? The wet socks. The, yeah. The spongies. The other thing is roller coasters. When's the last time I went to Six Flags? Yeah. They need to chill out on that shit. I don't need to be on a goddamn stealth jet front <laughs> row with barely any protection. Protection, yeah, it's ripping seven, my fucking face it's off. It's turned into seven flags. You didn't say in Iran, I think, is the seventh flag, bro, because that shit's getting heated over there. Dude, dude. it's fucking, too much. One of them, it's like you had to shoot your buddy with a fucking grenade launcher. It's like, that's way... Dude, why don't you just jump out of the plane hoping someone catches you? Yeah, let's go back to six flags, dude, you yeah, know? Yeah, dude. And it was it, more peaceful. It's intense. I, I, I'll i be honest. I went there a year ago. I, had to, I, told, I was scared of one. I told my girl, not happening. Yeah. Which is why I went, I don't feel good. But really, I'm scared. And some of the rides are getting real wimpy too, like the Big Bang Theory ride. 
And it's oh, just like you and your friends no. just like sit around a coffee table and kind of complain for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> like this isn't really this good. This isn't fun. <laughs> Yeah, well, Six Flags is the shit, though, but they need to chill out, man. They need to take it down a notch. Well, they used to have better rides, too. They used to have leprosy. Remember that thing? You get on there and you get off with a disease or something. You yeah, know? they used to have the CT wagon where it just bumbled <laughs> you around. <laughs> yeah, man. I miss some of the old rides, but I'm going to go roller coasters all day. It keeps you dry. If you got, Especially if you got a kid and they got a diaper on and stuff and you got to take them off of the water park into the place and everybody's wet and everything. Shit in their pants and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, roller coasters all day. Yeah, all day. 51% went roller coasters as well. Bro. Damn, that was a close battle, that was a though. One. That was Some a tight one. psychos out Why there. Why was so tight, I wonder? I thought that was a landslide for roller coasters. Water park, that shit's exhausting. Yeah, yeah, the what lazy about, river, get the fuck out of my face, man. What about daughter parks, dude? Some 50-year-old guy bringing their daughter out, some 24-year-old dime piece. That's huh? called a trailer park. <laughs> no, <it isn't>, bro. <laughs> and for trailers, you delinquent. <laughs> Up next, we got Michelle Rudazinski. Oh, yeah. Is, yeah, for sure. Shorten your last name. Ooh, Rudas. Titsky. Hi, Brendan. Hi, Theo. It's Michelle from Dallas, Texas with a debate club for you boys. Oh, shit. First off, I want to say I'm a huge fan of the show. You're both so fucking hilarious, and I appreciate you both so much. Wow. Especially you, Theo. You're so charming, so <laughs> handsome, you've got such a good heart, and I appreciate everything you do. Thank, Thank you, Thank you for bringing so much joy He's to He's mean heart. as fuck. So, debate club for You're you welcome. boys. You're welcome. Um, you can obviously only choose one. She was sexy. And I'm gonna choose not talking both of about them. that fake shit that you guys see in LA. I'm talking about them all natural hitters, baby. Damn. Well, let's see them. So, <laughs> well, well let's them. see them. And once again, you can only choose one. So if you could, would you rather be a tit man or an ass man? Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Buzz, Ooh. buzz. Oh, man. Buzz light year, huh? Damn, buzz it up, buzz beat Lava here, time bro. in my pants, bro. Hell yeah. Welcome to the lava section, I huh? I got a water park in my pants now, girl. What's up, Who man? wants a couple nuts full of lava, you got me? Six flags in my pants. Um, yeah. Tits or ass. Here's the thing, people. This the... Uh, yeah, this, tell me this, the thing, Here's Brendan. the thing. Here's this the is gonna thing, be, bro. This is going to be unhelpful. Thing. No, it's not <laughs> unhelpful. Here's the thing, bro. Yeah, what is the thing? Are you thing? ready for this? We've been waiting... <laughs> Mm-hmm. You don't have to choose this day and age. There's <laughs> girls with front and back. They're called Latinas or black girls. Mm-hmm. Only white girls are like ass or tits. <laughs> Pick an ethnic yeah. girl. They have both. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes if you get a girl with both, they get real. There's a lot more. The potential for violence is stronger. I like being on my toes. You know Do what I'm you? saying? Hell yeah. I got head movement. The other thing <laughs> is there's nothing worse than a girl with a flat ass. Yeah. I'll take a fat ass all day with some itty bitty mosquito titties. Yeah. But if you got those big hitters in the front, you got that flat ass in the back, that ain't it, daddy. That ain't it. Dude, we had a girl when I was young, bro. Biggest tits ever. And she was like 12, huh? Bro. I feel bad for him. She probably weighed 77 and maybe 78 pounds, somewhere in pounds there. pounds of tits. Bro, 36 pounds of tits. Sounds dude. like a movie. 40 pounds Each of one tits. of her tits. Her brother, her little brother used to get in front of her and put both tits on his shoulders. And, like do, and do like deadlifts huh? and like squat with it? No, just like hold them. Oh, that's a good brother. <laughs> yeah, dude. Not a fucking I was trying weirdo. to build his quad game or something. <laughs> but yeah, man. And she had a very straight, parallel, you know, just straight figure. Yeah, that's the bummer. The, we had a girl same similar. It was thing. almost like God, like sometime when she was gestating or whatever, whenever she was being made in the womb, that a lot of her ass got lonely and went to be tits. Yeah, we call that flat ass syndrome. Yeah, I haven't. Lo- I don't know if that's it. That's the thing is, like we real. had a girl in seventh grade. Her name was Danielle, and she had the biggest tits Ooh. in the world. Only like the darker tits, boys, though. Tits, Only like the tits. dark skin. Yeah, um, she, I was more of her homie. Dude. But I had that. I had that boner. In science all the time with her. Laka, 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 laka. She used to take those big, yeah, bro. Danielle used yeah. to take those big tits. Oh, and yeah. Help Mr. the boys Mc- out in the back. Mr. McGregor's only growing yams, you feel me? <laughs> Fucking welcome to Yamganistan. Yamville, Mom, baby. Mama's Population got them me. sweet patats. Um, I like more, I think. 
like a more well rounded, or you like the the you like the overbearing watermelons in the front? I like a, some ass. I think you know. I like some. De- I like a you know kind of. A, I don't mind a thick ass, a little bit of desert fat on it. You know, I don't like. Sometimes you get that loose, loose fat. It can be kind of erroneous. But if you get some, the Kardashians have that desert fat. And you and like I think that if you get fat? some of that desert fat, it's kind of a. Yeah, it feels yeah. kind of like it's uh like there's meat in there somewhere. Yeah, I feel it. I like that world star hip hop thick. Oh god, that's Triple usually C's there's thick, guns baby. and shit involved with all that. Nah, hey, <laughs> god, you can get guns on there. They'll make it rain with some guns, but whatever, dude. Mix it up, Theo. Yeah, I guess so, man. Anyway, this tip magnet trying to get to you. Oh yeah, I think surely you got them tits. <laughs> hey, you know what? Congrats. Yeah, and congrats too. You see, congrats my con- on the real ones, man. They're hard to find these days. Oh wow! Oh, and the crazy. You see, you see some of these plastic ones. It's like somebody ordered a bounce house for the kids. You know. And you know, I'm not mad at them. One lady, she had on a necklace that just it couldn't even set on her chest. The tits was so bouncy. You know. I'm not mad at it. A it was just bounce bouncing. castle. Yeah. But sometimes you see somebody they installed them wrong. They installed them way up here by their clavicles. You know. And you're like, what the heck Looks is like going pecs. on? Yeah, it just seemed like two big ass fucking tonsils, bro. Two, tur- you know? two tumors on her neck. Huh? No, not tumors, like tonsils, dude. Anyways, I like her fake, or her real titties. They're cool, man. Yeah, Good I think you. they're cool. It's rare you see it. I think Especially they're cool. Especially in LA, man. Yeah. Look, if, if the world's ended, I'm going to be right up next to you by them tits. So good to see you. Thank you. Be well in Dallas, young I'm lady. I'm going to ask, man. You, ask her tits. Listen, huh? you don't have to pick. Her question was ask her tits. Two out of 19, you don't have to pick. Get you an ethnic girl. Go. I say both ass and tits. So, and if your girl doesn't have tits, you could also just spin them around and draw nipples on their ass. Or put little Hershey, <laughs> put them Toll House morsels on her ass if you want. Or, at she's, night. or if she's thick enough, you make her fucking tricep a titty. You know what I'm saying? What do you else you got, dude? <laughs> <laughs> we got to go to a little flaunt on, boys. Let's flaunt some aunts. <laughs> Up first, uh, I hope I'm saying his name right. Johnny F- Fuimano? Fuimano? Fuego Mano. Fuimano? Fuimano. Fuimano. God damn. Fuego Mamacita. Oh, that's her on the left there. Mm-hmm. <sighs> she looks like a... An extra from uh, that thrift shop song with Macklemore. Yeah, she does. You know oh, that song? Yeah. What? 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 She looks like Cruella de Vil a little bit. Yeah, she does. She looks like she got about 30 Dalmatians, bro. She's a, she's a traveling RN, an <sighs> avid thrift shopper. and I knew it. She's a beautiful auntie of two teenage daughters of this lady Ooh, right here, the blonde. Damn. Woman. Wait, and the one on the far right, we're talking about the Mama Sita, the thrift store. The thr- yeah, she's the aunt, and the one who sent it in is the blonde woman. That's her sister. That thrift store vixen. It's rare you get a thrift store vixen in this bitch. Beautiful. And this is Flaunt My Aunt? Uh, oh, yeah. This is Goodwill's Finest. And is that real fur? Or do we know if that's fake? What is that, alpaca, Mogadishu? What is that? It's about as real as that waiter's toupee. <laughs> that thing is fake as shit. And is that crown <laughs> real? Is she of royal descent? That's a good question. Them lips are real, though. Brendan, have some respect saying. as a woman, bro. Well, there's a lot of fakeness going around these days. I'm proud of her. <laughs> what else can you say about this girl, Derek? Uh, I, I like her, her jacket, Game of Thrones vibe going, like the mother of bad jackets or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. You ever been to a thrift store? Oh, yeah. When I was little, dude. my dad used to bring me and my brother in there every Saturday and like, say, you can pick one thing. I used to get one ski sometimes. Oh, wow. Pretty just, cool. a, just a random <laughs> baseball card some days. I used to get a vase or like a plate. Sometimes I get a high heel. Yeah, why not? Um, yeah, she seemed like kind of Italian. She's got that faint. Is this Rip My Drip? Flaunt My Aunt. Flaunt My Aunt. Yeah, look, I'd be her little nephew. <laughs> you know, I would definitely come out of her sister's vagina if she needed me to. And I think she's, that code is pretty sexy. She has a sexy Goodwill vibe. I'd buy her a used jacket or some shit if she wanted. Yeah, you got to get that coat pressure washed, though. I, you know, if you get any furs, and that's rule number one. Mm-mm. If you get any furs out of a, a 99 cent shop or half or salvation shop, you got to pressure wash that bitch. You got to. Yeah, you don't just, and you don't put it in a washing machine. You need to really hit that thing right there where the follicles 
hit with the, the hot water too. Yeah. You have no idea what's been in there. Yeah, and you could even boil that bitch, obviously, and then drink a little bit out of the pot and just taste if you taste something fucking foreign or a little bit of paint. Because most people ain't giving up their mink coat to the goodwill unless it has some bad juice on it. You yeah, feel me? or some murder happened in it. That's what I'm saying. That mafia murder gives those up. Yeah, so that could be... That might be a New Jersey Goodwill. Yeah, she got that Jon Snow, though. She got that Janet Snow Cone look. <laughs> and I'm not mad at her. She, yeah, she's got some nice lips. She's a pretty face. lady. Looks like nice... She has a nice arm. You can't see that other arm. She's a Goodwill model, bro. Yeah. They call it Goodwill out here? Or do you call it the Ark out in L.A.? Where, anyone know what the Ark is? In Aurora, we call it the Ark. The Ark? Yeah, it's called The Ark. It's another discount place. Oh, no. -uh. Out here, it's Buffalo Exchange and Goodwill. Goodwill, Salvation, Salvation Army. Salvation Army. That's it, I think. And I think the Salvation Army, we should let them fight whoever. You know what I'm yeah. saying, bro? <laughs> Release the hounds. Oh, on, you know what I'm Let's let them protect the border or some stench shit. Stench only, bro. Throw, throwing old paintings at people, they could fucking win in a heartbeat. Throwing old tennis rackets at people? Bro, you want the serenity prayer, you go to dang... Uh, you go to the Salvation Army. All right, let's keep it cruising, huh? <laughs> yeah. Up next, we got <coughs> Uncle Eddie. This is Uncle Eddie. Oh, oh, gang, bro. Eddie's on some sort of ride there. It, now, it looks like Eddie is on, uh, 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 is that Magic Mountain or Space Mountain? Space Mountain. Yeah, Space Mountain. No, oh, that's when I see drugs, it. bro. It looks like <laughs> Uncle Eddie's on that muffin dust. You feel me? Eddie's throwing up the uh, the Satan devil horns there on a kid's ride. And he's also in a tank on Space Mountain, so there's a lot of questions going on here. Oh, he'll huff a gram right out of a fucking, you know, out of a fella's butt. This kids guy. in the front, kids in the back. Yeah. Space Mountain, that's an aggressive outfit for Disneyland, bro. Yeah, he, um, I don't think, I don't like wearing shorts around children. Me that's neither, me. Me neither, dude. That's me. Especially at Disneyland. What do you think, Derek? What do you think about this white guy that's obviously doing something? Well, uh, he's a teacher. Just to know a little, little backstory about him. Oh. Who knows all of Shakespeare? Mm. This guy. Teacher. I think he confused Shakespeare with Fast and the Furious movies. I <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't think, he, I think he's confusing yeah. him. And now when he's, he's Shakespeare, no, he, he teaches dodgeball. He's this is a, this is a <laughs> PE teacher if I've ever seen one. Well, now that I look at him a little bit more, he definitely seemed like he could have a you know he might be a very smart guy, Bernie. You can't just tell by looking at him if he's smart or not. People that know Shakespeare don't throw up Satan's horns and wear <laughs> tanks to Disneyland, bro. And there's nothing wrong with being a PE teacher. My favorite teacher name was Mr. Bubbles. Really? And he was a great PE teacher. Gave me a San Jose Sharks hat when I was a kid before they came out. Shout out to Dr. Bubbles. We used to have a lesbian lady, and she wanted to make all the girls' tits hard. That's what she said. Make Damn. those tits hard. That's what she would really? say. Yeah. Hey, why like does this? every gym teacher go, let's move, ladies? <laughs> Ever. Because ladies don't want to move sometimes, dude. But it doesn't make sense. Everyone. Let's pick it up, ladies. We had a guy named Coach Hill, and he'd be like, what, what are you doing there, numb nuts? That's what he would numb call nuts. us, dude, you jackass. I had a coach call, <laughs> our, we had a, I had a coach call slap dicks. Yeah. Let's get moving, slap dicks. What's that even mean? Uh, Let's pick it up, ladies. <laughs> that's, a, that's like every dad, when the weather, when it starts raining, they go, but we need it. But we need it. <laughs> so my dad, my dad says that every time. Get but over here, you damn numb nuts. I ought to... Let's get moving, ladies. Yeah, damn it. Shout out to this PE teacher, though. You ain't fooling nobody. <laughs> he seemed like a decent guy. Yeah, I like him. Time to pay the bills. Look, I got to tell you that sometimes you get a suit and it ain't what it's supposed to be. Dude, I ordered a nice suit the other day. They sent me a swimsuit. Sometimes you don't know. It's a wild west of suits, man. You look like you're you're rocking your dad's suit. You look like an oh. amateur. Not anymore, though. Not anymore, dude. Get dude. into Chino, bro. Yeah, dude. Into Chino, the world's most exciting made-to-measure men's worst company. Period. Oh, anything's better. I ended up at a wedding in a two-piece, dude. So yeah, embarrassing. Bro. Not what I was expecting. But here's Indo how it works, Theo. So you don't look like a moron. Yep, Indochino. I already know. It's the world's most famous made-to-order suit site. Looking to get married, business, whatever you got going on, visit a stylist at the showroom, over 40 showrooms in North America, and have them take your measurements personally or measure at home yourself and shop online at Indochino.com. Choose right. your fabric, choose your design, submit your measurements, and boom, 
Yes. You ready? You ready? Suits for all occasions. If you want to be in the mafia, if you want to, you know, stand outside of a bank and look like you're doing something. You want to look like a soprano. Yeah. If you want to look like a, a you want to look like a butler, a Santiago. You know, whatever you want to do. You if look you like want to a go, Backstreet Boy in a yeah, suit. You want to go to Chile. You know. Relax while your suit gets professionally tailored and mailed to you in a couple of weeks. Man, let's give them 50% off the regular price. This week, the King and the Sting listeners and viewers can get any premium Indochino suit for just $369 at Indochino.com. We enter promo code K-A-T-S at checkout. That's 50% off. That's half off, man. Plus free shipping, bro. Indochino.com, promo code CATS for any premium suit for just $369 and free shipping. That's right. Look nice, feel nice, Indochino, get that suit. Once you go custom, you know what they say. You never go back. That's what some say. Someone's got to pay for Brennan's coffee habit. Man, something stinks in here, and it ain't me. It ain't me either, because I'll tell you what. It you, might be. You know what? It might be us, because we're not using our scent bird, bro. Yeah, that's true. You ever smell something amazing, and you go up to someone, and you're like, hey, bro, yeah. you smell real nice. And he goes, get out of my face. Yeah. And then I was walk away, and he goes, hey, bro, scent bird. Go I went, damn, thanks, dude. Oh. Thank you, bro, but I don't have a ton of money to pay to smell like you. you smell like a million bucks. And he goes, bro, I'm not going to tell you again. Scent bird. Yeah. Oh, oh. I go, thanks, dude. Thanks a lot. Scent bird is a luxury fragrance subscription oh. service. Mix up your colognes or perfume routines, whatever you want. They got oh over God. 450 designer brands from you to choose from each month. Ever heard of Gucci, Tom Ford, Kenneth Cole, Burberry, Prada Birds. That's right, baby. Choose the cologne you want to try and the send it to you for 30-day supplies. Kick you want to smell good. You want to feel good. You want your your skin smelling good. Get that ah, get scent bird, get baby. Get that beak right, baby, baby. Yeah. And just for you guys, you get 50% off your first month today. That's only $7.50 for your first fragrance. That's right. Go to scentbird.com slash K-A-T-S. And, and use my code K-A-T-S for 50% off your first month. Again, that's S-C-E-N-T-B-I-R-D.com slash K-A-T-S to try your first cologne or perfume for just $7.50. Sign on. Smell amazing. Kiki! Knock, knock. Who's there? Patheo and Brendan. Up next, how about a little <laughs> relationship advice? My favorite part. We, I feel like we're really We need some new people. segments, too, we got to think of. You and I need to get together next week and think some new segments along with these. Yeah. I like r- Rip My Ride. People you do? Send a picture of the ride. I like Rate My Driver. People send a picture of their Uber driver. Ooh. or well, Hold uh, on, hold on. We got a question. What did you say, Derek? I, don't know I, was, I was thinking of me no, rip my boss. I you think you said I mean? rape my driver. Oh. Is that what you said? I would never say that. No, I'm saying like. Okay, well then you make sure Uber you don't driver say it when you say it. Or your Lyft driver and you, you send a little video. It tells us what kind of music they're listening to, <laughs> how far was the drive, were they chatty right. Cathy's. <laughs> I mean, some of you, yeah, that could be pretty rape good. Rape my pup, send in your animals. No, yeah. your rate my pup. Yeah. Well, they, again, we'll come up with more catchy terms. It's just off the dome piece, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude, that's, that's what I'm afraid of. He's uh, <laughs> <it's> coming <laughs> off the dome piece. Dude, you don't like rate my Uber driver? No, I rate just. Rate my animal? Yeah, dude, no. What, what about rip my boss? I don't like People the way you say rape. Yeah, I don't not. like the way you rate. Rape, <laughs> rape, bro. No one thinks I'm saying rape unless you're a psychopath. <laughs> Everyone thinks you're saying rape, dude. No one in here. Dude, T, the word, the letter T has T in it. T. Rape. <laughs> yeah. you're, you're thinking rape, bro. You know, I know you have a Texas shirt on, that's why. Uh, well, I'm thinking it because you're saying it. I don't think things that people aren't saying. Like, if you're singing a song to me, I don't think like, oh, man, you know, I wish I could find a job right now. You know? I you think things that, think that people are talking about. Well, I'm just saying it could be cool. People send pictures of their boss, their animals, their cars, their Uber drivers, Lyft drivers. I think it can be fun. Yeah, can you come up with any ideas? Yes, I can. Yeah, once you get back to us in seven weeks. <laughs> yeah, what else you got, idea. All right, up first, we got some relationship advice for Corey Beam from Westminster, Maryland. C. Bean out of West Mini. Oh, Corey Beam. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn. Crotch What's up, Theo? What's up, Brandon Showers? 
coming at you from the crotch view, seeing the little lumpy pumpy at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> yeah, huh? the barrel. Nut Nation. Um, and I'm realizing my nostrils are really, uh, really crooked right now. Messed Dick up. World. Um, need some relationship advice. Um, I'm dating a 38 year old woman. I'm 26. Ooh. She got two little ones, nine year old son, three year old daughter. Mm. We've been on and off about two years, oh. and uh, things are going great. I, I love her to death, and I want to be with her forever. But we fight and argue sometimes um, about our age because she feels insecure and feels like I should be with someone younger and my age. But I don't want that. I want to be with her. Um, so I just need help on how I show her that and. Uh, how I can just let her know I love her and I want to be with her. Thanks, guys. Gang, gang. Buzz, buzz. Crotch, bulge. Ow. CB, huh? Buzz, buzz to your dick game, bro. Dude, I've, and I've been on a CB radio before, and that crotch bulge, that's the closest thing I've ever been to since then, man. Makes sense. Remember that ham radio? You'd be like, break a break of yeah. 44. And then somebody come over to the house and try to molest you, some trucker. Oh, damn. No, I don't remember Dude, that. we had a guy, uh, me and this dude, Michael, and he was all slicked up in a jowls. His mouth was real damp, just like that waiter. Wet? in a wet yeah, mouth? Yeah, he had that freaking, yeah. Just that Sticky water. lips. Just living, just had a damn watering hole right in the middle of his face, you know? <laughs> and uh, some guy came off, we met him on the ham radio, CB, and he came over and, um, Stick dude, we were sitting in his truck, bro, in this guy's truck, and he was putting, I remember he was seeing how many... Tootsie Rolls, minis, the minis, we could fit in our mouth, right? Huh. And Michael's, uh, some guy was making love to Michael's mom, who was, you know, she was a substitute teacher, but um, he came out and beat the guy's ass, dude. Yeah. Because the guy yeah. was going to take us to, like, the guy was telling us he's going to take us to Florida and stuff. This guy was going to probably murder us or whatever. Hell yeah, that boyfriend's awesome. Yeah. Although he's banging your friend's mom, whatever, substitute teacher, probably not a lot of money in the bank. But it sounds like yeah. he was a good dude. And yeah, it sounds like you does. boys, he was going to start with Tootsie Rolls and then end up with his dick. Yeah. So it sounds like he saved you guys. Well, I'm grateful Michael could fit almost 14 minis in his mouth. How did you fit? I would probably stopped at about six or seven. I got nervous because of my airway. I bet so. Playboy. But Michael was just, he didn't care about his airways, dude. He didn't care if he knew Michael the Lord. Deep throw. He didn't care if he met the Lord that afternoon, I don't think. Man. But yeah, dude. And that, but pressure. thankfully it took so long because then that guy came out and beat that dude's Shout ass. Shout out to bro. that substitute teacher. What a hero. And man. Clint was that guy's name. Shout out to Clint like the Clint, sub. But with like an N in it. <laughs> What the guy's question? Oh, just age different? Yeah, he's uh he's younger than his, he's twenty six. His girl's thirty eight with two kids. Dude, it sounds like he has that that young energy. He's trying to do all this shit. He's trying to jump on YouTube. He's Netflix and chill and and go to fucking Six Flags and do all this and listen to Little Nas X. You're too much. You got the young energy. Take her to a park. Read a book. Go to Barnes and Noble. Maybe some bingo. What? Wa watch Philadelphia and talk to her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mix no, I it don't, up, man. I don't know watch what the Notebook and then discuss. Discuss it over tea. What are you saying? Did you hear his statement? Yeah, she's he too loves old. the woman, but she believes that maybe he's too young for her and he should find somebody his own age. That's what I'm saying. So old and up, bro. No, you don't start start hanging out in the sun so your face looks older. Oh yeah, maybe start dye your hair white. Vegan. Yeah, dye your hair white, dude. Um, complain. Get some dockers. You stand in the yard and go like this all the time. <laughs> Stare out of the front of her yard and make sure no one's stepping on it. If they do, you fucking yell at them. Yeah. Get a lawn chair. Yeah. Get some graham crackers. Drop a couple end bombs during dessert, <laughs> yeah. you know? <laughs> you got to age up, bro. You got to give, give out coins during Halloween. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or, dude, here's the thing. She might be trying to lead you away, dude. If she's saying you got to go find somebody younger that's what i'm thinking that means she has that old young long dick game waiting for her. she well, has I, a she has a longer silver fox waiting for her. and maybe a, like it but it, this guy sounds kind of adult it doesn't sound like he needs to be babysat it sounds like he's ready to go he's fired up yeah i know yeah he seems super mature he senses a video from his nuts <laughs> 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 I like That's true, guy, man. man. But what I do you like think? him. What do you think, Derek? Uh, I, I think I'm agree with uh, with you, Theo. I think she she's looking for a George Clooney, bro. She don't. No offense, but she just she's not into it, man. Yeah, it seems like she's not into it. If she's, she's telling him because who? Why would you tell someone I, who's I, I, younger to go bang young girls? He's, yeah. she's like go bang young girls, dude. She might be a freak though. Those older yeah. girls are freaks. Well, yeah, but that doesn't have anything to do with this, Brendan. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm, just, I'm just stating to the what? facts. Like he might be dating a what freak. Facts? Well, she might want him to fuck younger chicks and tell her about it. Ooh, she doesn't want that. Over a matinee movie, you know what I'm saying? No, 
<laughs> I don't know what you're Have saying. Have you ever hooked up with old chick, D? Oh, yeah. With her kids. Oh, yeah. With banging, on the, banging on the door. Her kids were banging on the oh, door? Oh, yeah. They're oh, like, Mom, my. Mom. She was like, well, y'all watch TV for five minutes. And she didn't stop. Give me five minutes. <laughs> yeah. I was like, whoa. And then D over here just balls deep in oh, their yeah, mom. Man. I was like oh, 17. Wow, that got dark. How old were you? Like 17. How old was she? Like 29. Wow. That's not bad. Yeah, but that was at the time, that was like. Do you feel any remorse about it now or no? No, I think the daughter was going to be fine. Because she, when she did open the door, she was like, Mom, I just wanted some juice. Like, she was so calm about it. Like, this happens all the time. I was like, oh, I see. This daughter's going to be fine. Where'd, so you, you, where'd you meet this older lady at? Uh, my dad used to work at, like, the, you know, he, he drops off, like, chips and snacks for gas stations in the morning. Like, she Fritos was one of the gas truck? station people. And he told me that there was this hot girl that worked at one. And so I. I was like, you know, he t- my dad always talks about this gas station. So I pulled in, she was in there, started hollering at her, and then it fucking, I, I told her my dad drops the shit off. She was like, oh, I like that guy. And that was it, man. Damn. I know. <laughs> and she that worked. Shit. That's a porn. And now, <laughs> do you, you still hard. keep in touch with the kids or with the woman? No, no. It was it was after that night. We never spoke again. Just the wow. one time? It was the one, one, the one time old lady hit her. Yeah. How And how long ago was that? If we phoned the kids right now, what age do you think the kids would I be? Was 17, so we're talking. I'm 29. We're talking 12 years, man. And kids how old grown. were the kids at that point? They were all like eight, nine. Those kids so we could pissed. call one of the kids and be like, hey, do you remember that this One of those kids is listening. Like, oh. My like, mother. <laughs> yeah, fuck, I, I, I thought, thought I knew voice. his voice. Yeah. I thought it was a young Morgan Freeman. <laughs> yeah. This whole time we thought it was Morgan Freeman <laughs> fucked our mom. <laughs> nope. Dude, a buddy of mine said that Sinbad hooked up with his mom when he was a kid and <laughs> left a pair of left a pair of orange pants at his house. <laughs> How crazy is that? That's a true story. That's a true story over there in Gary, Indiana. Fucking Sinbad, dude. Mm. Dropping loads, leaving orange pants, man. <laughs> Sin good, huh? Damn. Sin right. Yeah, brother. Let's get out what of this. What else we got? Oh, we got uh... What were we even doing? Oh, we're the, giving her advice, or that we're giving the the dick uh, camera dude advice on his older girl. Yeah, to me it sounds like maybe she don't really want to be in it, bro. But she's looking for a George Clooney, and you're uh, yeah, and you're, you're a just, little Nas X. You're a Bobby Clowney, you know. Yeah, bro. <laughs> but not in a bad got? way. You're just young, man. And look, that thing's gonna ripen fast, brother. She's looking you know? for a dad, bro. Well, she's. I mean, maybe the guy can provide. He looks like he could work at Wells Fargo or somebody. It's probably an entry level position. So, I don't know, man. I would ask somebody who probably fucking knows besides yeah, me and ask, Brendan. Yeah, me too. I'd ask someone a little more into the game. Because <laughs> you're dealing with some heavy repercussions here. What? Kids. 401k. Yeah. Yeah, what are you going to do, dude, when the kid starts doing menstruation or whatever, and you got to have a chat with them, and you, you And you, you know, don't know shit. Yeah. You don't know shit, dude. You're still playing, uh, you know, Call of Duty or whatever. You're, you're playing, not going to be. You play Fortnite when the kids run to do the homework. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Kiss those days goodbye, bro. You ain't ready. You yeah. ain't ready. She smells it. What else? <laughs> All right. Up next, a little advice for Mark Banks from Iowa. Mark the spark, baby. Blaze it up. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Buzz, buzz. Gobble, gobble. Relationship advice. Gang, gang dude. I've uh, been married for 25 years. Oh, you're fucked. <laughs> it's been great helping me get through anxiety. I'm still dealing with some shit. So I've been uh, smoking some weed. And I got caught before doing that and she wasn't happy about it. But Clearly in a shed. I thought it helped, so I just started again. And I haven't told her yet. As she told me last time that I should tell her before I mm. try to do anything like this. And you agree to that. So, question is should I tell her? seems to help with anxiety or should I just keep on keeping on oh PS Brendan Schaub you're the coolest motherfucker on this planet right now love you man oh, dang. whoa uh, obviously Thanks, you and your dad haven't been in touch in a while <laughs> Dude, you got to keep in better contact with your parents, man, because it's just... Oh, hold up. I get that, dude. You get fucking Tits McGee. Yeah. <laughs> bro, that's Mark the Spark, bro. And that dude, dude's, I love that dude. That dude's blazing that dude, high. That dude's blazing, blazing. Bro, he's so high, he's hitting on you from a shed <laughs> behind his house while his wife he's is asleep. He's in a hot shed. Yeah. He's in a hot shed right there. Dude, I love you. Shout Let's out to play this the dude. very end again where he talks where he gives I'll a shout out to Brent. I just dude, want to see what he says. I'm not going bad on him. Oh, P.S. Brendan Shab, <laughs> you're the coolest motherfucker on this planet right now. Love you, man. Pretty cool, man. It's what a nice, nice guy. guy. Man. 
It is a nice guy, man. Uh, smoking the weed. Here's the thing. If it helps you, especially in two, uh, 2019. Right. I do. Correct. Who, Barely who got that one. Who gets mad? Yeah. Who gets mad that someone's smoking weed? Especially if anxiety. If your girl's not down with it, man, then she's not. She's not the one. Man, now I don't know if you're getting high and eating She's all the food. She's not the one. This is his wife. For <laughs> years. What? Yeah, you made a mistake. Why? You might have made a mistake. <laughs> and now he's finding out. Twenty five years later, bro, you can still make mistakes. Uh, I would definitely tell her. I would 100% tell her. And if she's not cool with it, she ain't the one after 25 years, bro. Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> this guy thought you were cool, too. <laughs> it's insane, man. I would I'm, never I'm tell her. I'm not saying guy. get a divorce. What are you saying, then? What do you think? They're just going to live down the street from each other while he smokes weed? Yeah, and some of it. If it makes you better. Who's going to hate on someone if it makes you a better person? Well, that's a good point. I think, but I think he's told the wife that he would let her know if he was going to smoke it, and he didn't. So for some reason, he likes keeping it a secret. I think it's like it's like the one thing he can do that's like a, that his wife doesn't know about. So he must find some joy in that. Yeah, it's kind of sneaky. Yeah, he likes to have something of his own, which I think is okay. I mean, but you're not if, hurting anybody, right? You're not hurting you're anybody. Not cheating on her. You just you're not jacking off the porno in this shed and getting high, right? I'd keep getting high, man. Yeah, that's me what too. I would do. And if she says, uh, you know, if she catches you, then fess up to it and say, look, you know, and then just tell her the truth, whatever the reason is, why you wanted to keep getting high. I wanted to keep getting high because I like doing something that you don't know about. You know, I like getting high; it makes my anxiety better, dude. I'll tell you about this: if you're getting high and you got a wife. A little bit of weed to make your wife feel like a brand new woman, you know, take the sex to a different place, dude. Yeah, she's complaining about weed to get her high and then eat her ass like groceries. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 25 years, mix it up, bro. <laughs> Give it up. Give, Give it up. Give what up, dude? Life advice. Don't, Don't fucking touch me. Don't touch me, me with your advice. Your <laughs> oh my God. Let's go to Cat and get a woman's perspective. I can't even live right here. 25 years, bro. Keep smoking that hitter. What? I mean, you just gave the guy nine different pieces of advice, man. <laughs> I'm hoping something sticks. What? I throw a lot of things, <laughs> and I hope he connects to one. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna get her high and eat her ass. And I'm hoping that one sticks. Now, yeah, you blow a little weed smoke in the bedroom or something. Blow Maybe that it, booty hole, right? But he, he, you could take her on that tour. But you know, just you need to be a liaison there with her. You need to like, you know, Hold don't get her high and leave her in the other room for a half hour. You know, and sneak around the house and ring a bell, dude. No, don't don't scare her. <laughs> don't 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 get her high and play fucking the Conjuring. You know dude, what I'm saying? I'll tell you this. Uh, after Cat's uh, suggestion, Cat, what do you think? Well, why doesn't she like? Like him smoking weed if it helps with anxiety. Has she never 50? smoked before? I mean, maybe she should get in on the smoking. That's maybe what I'm saying, Kat. See? Or it could just be something that he does away from her if it helps him. Or it's your naughty little secret. Mm. Yeah. I mean, who's he hurting? It's fine. Dude, we had this kid named Caleb, right? And so we got so high one time. One of us, he was, he was about to leave. So somebody snuck out and took his steering wheel off his car, right? <laughs> So then, dude, he goes out to his car, bro, and he was out there for like seven minutes, and he comes back inside, and he's like, ah, and you can tell he's kind of nervous to tell us, you know, he's like, man, I can't find my steering wheel, right? And everybody's like, oh, you are fucking high, bro, you're an idiot, you know, you're a psychopath, you know, because people just throw that in, you know? And uh, and dude, so we laughed for like ten minutes. Oh, he even he was laughing at the fact I can't find my steering wheel. Right. Hilarious. So in the meantime, the guy went back out and put his steering wheel back into his car. Right. So then we all go out there as a group, and the steering wheel was back on, bro. And he fucking he thought he was lost, so high, bro. Lost his mind. Dude, checked himself into a mental health center, and is <laughs> still there, still in the mental health center. <laughs> Been twenty eight years, twenty nine years. So is that nature or nurture, you know? It seemed to work <laughs> out for him. Well, it's, I don't know, it's its kind of a bigger discussion. But but what I'm saying, dude, is look, get high, bro. You in the shed, you getting high. I think you secretly want to get busted by your lady. I think it adds a little bit of spark, a little bit of spice to your life. Dude, I say get high, get your lady in there, get blunted together and send us another video and uh, yeah. and tell us what's going on. Send That's that, what I want to say. Send that Blair Witch sex tape in the shed. Or just send a nice <laughs> video introducing us to your lady. <laughs> That'll like I, work. Yeah, like shout out to this dude. Yeah, mark the spark, baby. Blaze up, dude. I want to see you get heated and play off uh, fluffy bunny too, where you fill your mouth with the uh, marshmallows, bro. Puff, <laughs> puff, give to yourself. 
All right, boys, a little uh, Rip My Drip. Up next, up first, we got Alex from Fresno. This is Alex. Damn. Is that cheetah print or tiger print? Big difference. Also, the Croatian flag on her uh, phone there. That's a country. She uh, apparently is not a stripper, even though there is a stripper pole in the background. Oh, she, she, uh, she a freak, confirmed. And she starts teaching first grade this year. Ooh, Damn. Wee, I ain't never had a teacher look like this. I want to go to preschool in this girl's butt. You know? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, that was too much. And I'm sorry that I said that. Um, you seem like a nice lady. What's her name again? Alex. Alex. Well, Alex is going to have to cover up them tattoos, get rid of the tiger print, and take out the nose piercing if she's teaching anybody's kid. Whatever she could teach the kid how to have a, keep a spare key on your nostril right there. <laughs> Zoom Which, in on her D. <clears throat> Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, Cute lady, mm-hmm. Alex. A L L I X. Oh wow, mm. that would trick Brendan. <laughs> um, and what else do we know about her? She's from where? Montana. Uh, well, Brendan spotted she might be from Croatia. With the she this. might be Croatian. But and lives in Fresno. That's she, just a checkered phone case. That's not the Croatian flag, <laughs> dude. <laughs> And uh, Jesus she's Christ. not a stripper, even though this says differently right here. Oh, that's her fan won't hang from the ceiling correctly, so she has it balanced oh, on that pole. that's a light, bro. <laughs> yeah. Right here? Yeah. Oh, that's the ceiling fan, and this is the pole right behind it. But it looks like the fan is going to fall. looks like they're fall. connected. Mm-hmm. If she doesn't have the pole there. So sometimes fans don't want to be up in the air. <laughs> also, she might be a little stripper at night, though. You know what I'm saying? Maybe she's that first grade superhero. Where she's teaching the kids during the day and helping the men at night. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that, like Robin Hood. Dude, another bone for homework, huh? That's what I'd be getting. Uh, and what instead, else does she bro. say? She likes to do what? Do soccer? No, it doesn't say. She has a she has a little bit of a like a hot topic, sexy yeah. vibe going on, doesn't she? With the tats, the print, and she does the brows. Check out the brows on Becky. Oh yeah. Browser's open, dude. Google Rome, bro. You feel me? I feel you, dog. I'm not mad at her. Good luck with the kiddos, man. Uh-uh. Hopefully my son has a teacher that looks like this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Every She's... teacher I've seen are fucking warlocks, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, had a, I had a teacher, Miss Deacon, in 7th and 8th grade. 6'4". Redhead. Wow. Still haunts me to this day. Dude, we had this lady, Miss Miss Smith, and her husband was always dying every day. Oh, God, it's annoying. Smitty's dying. <laughs> Smitty's dying. And we'd all be sitting there like, uh, we don't know how to spell. <laughs> <laughs> Please help us. Please help us. Please help us. Please go over our rivers with us. <laughs> <laughs> Smitty's dying. And for the record, I think Miss Deacon was actually Carl Mecklenburg in a wig. Oh, that's a, yeah. That's a shout out to an old school football player. And what did that lady want from us? Was it? Uh, just oh, a ripper, sexy ripper drip. drip. You ripped her. Shout oh, out to her. We didn't even talk about our clothes. Uh, I like the <laughs> skirt, I guess. And yeah, I like the tattoo coming out of the white shirt. It kind of makes it a little bit more uh, noticeable. I like her lips. I like her brows. I like her uh, nose piercing. Definitely have to take that out in front of the kids, especially teacher conference night. Oh, dude, I would balance my wiener on this lady's back, dude. She seems like a nice lady. <laughs> And uh, does it say how old she is or no? No, she didn't say. Oh, good. Well, shout out to her. See you later, miss. Up next, we got Darwin Nash from Apache Junction, Arizona. Interesting name. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. D. Nash, huh? ZZ Top laying low, huh? (laughs) 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 Looks like the Zach Brown band took some time away and lost some weight. Yeah, huh? Uh, and it, he's a, uh, that's a red beard. Like Zach Brown rice, bro. Like this dude's been on a diet. <laughs> um, yeah, this guy could definitely be keeping secrets, I think. He looks like the guy who actually keeps all the secrets. Like he has a truck, it has a lockbox in the back, and that's where all the secrets are. Yeah, it looks like his name's Zed and owns a pawn shop of some sort. Like he has a bunch of trinkets, you know what I'm saying? Like he mm-hmm. might have a Rolex and a VCR in the back. And look at that little Dillo in the back. Is that a Dillo on the ground or is that a puppy? Oh, is puppy? that a Dillo? I love a nice warm Dillo, man. Oh, that's a puppy. It's tough to tell with that coat on. Could be a shaved armadillo. Yeah. When's the last time you saw Armadillo? There was a Mexican restaurant called Armadillo's in Denver. Yeah. It's well, not there anymore. Oh, man. Well, I 
I do you know armadillos can jump about probably eight or nine feet straight up in the air? No way. Would you look that up? Do you mind for us, please? They're basically tanks of the of the forest, man. Yeah, jumping tanks. They can jump, huh? Oh yeah. Dude, now that I think of that, guy's toupee looks like an armadillo. Dude, they're like the Vince Carter of the Animal Kingdom, bro. <laughs> really? I didn't know that about armadillos. Can they really jump? Or are you thinking of a possum? Armadillos can jump. Possums bro. can fucking jump too. Let's see them jump, bro. I want to see an armadillo and a possum in a dunk contest. Ooh. Yeah. I'd love it. Dude, look, here's what I'm saying is can we see them jump or not? Armadillo does a backflip. These bitches can leap, boy. Watch that hit. Are there armadillos in New Orleans, Theo? Yeah, dude. There's everywhere. I want a pet armadillo. Woo! Oh. Damn, that's that Sonic the Hedgehog there. But think about how high that thing jumped. His legs are this big, dude. Oh, an dude, inch and a half a long. 80 inch vert. Boink! See ya. <laughs> that dude, I did not know that. That's Look how pretty cool. Fast they are too. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I thought they were slow. Every time you play it, Brendan thinks he hasn't seen it yet. <laughs> that's <what's> insane. <laughs> He's pretty Ooh. cool. Why does he slap him so hard though? <laughs> it was kind of easy, aggressive, bro. huh? It's not it? a strip club. Anymore. Ah man. <laughs> yeah. Nobody's ass there. You're not making it rain. <laughs> yeah. so our armadillo is scared as fuck in the field there obviously this guy doing a lot of work with uh armadillos outdoors he does a lot of you know and there's another dog right there in the front that has a sweater on it this guy likes putting sweaters on animals which at a certain point weird vibe creeping me out bro <laughs> creeping it, me out yeah bro. looks like summer put a tank top on one of those mfers dude yeah you it's know? a little weird now you know how they say that dude it's a little weird with the the sweaters on the dogs and he's obviously holding a energy drink of some sort yeah this guy's all hopped up on bang energy and putting sweaters on freaking on little poodles, bro. You got to shut it down. Yeah, dude. ZZ not. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Zed. All right, boys. We'll wrap it up with some King It or Sting It. We'll get out of here. Up first, we got Keyshawn from Arizona. He's 19. This is Keyshawn. Keyshawn, do you love me? Hey, what's up, Theo? What's up, Brandon? Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Gang, bro. Hey, so I saw this YouTuber pretty famous for dip reviews, and he's a big fan of Chris D'Elia. He's a big baby. But you know I like that cheese and honey more than that baby mush. But um, I wanted to know if he was okay with someone in his cold dipping tobacco. So I want to know your take on it. Dipping tobacco, king of the stinging. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Get buzz, that hit buzz, or drip, drip. Listen, the only thing I'm dipping is honey. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to dip no tobacco. Excuse me, did you sign a multi-million dollar contract with the... Uh, Angels, unless you're a major league baseball player, <laughs> you shouldn't be dipping, bro. But dude, how do you get to the major leagues if you ain't dipping? Good question, dude. <laughs> All the big wigs dip, dude. Manny Fernandez, Pape, um, yeah, Julio Ravaderci, bro. All of your famous baseball Pedro players, Martinez. Pedro Martinez, Nolan dude. Ryan, yeah, Babe Ruth, yeah. Look, here's the thing. I used to work on a farm. I used to chew that plug tobacco. I put a hit of that in my lip, dude, and I could shit for about 40 minutes. And uh, there's something about it going straight into your system, dude. There's just something about that it. That straight nicotine hitter into the lip? Yeah. And it's, it's a little different than smoking. But here's the thing. If you're hopped up on them all day, man, that's just an addiction. So Is you just got to be careful. Is it healthier than smoking? I like it better, man. I, I, like I don't it think I've ever seen smoking. you dip. I used to do it. I like the plug, though. The plug is a little bit sweeter. It's almost like What's a dessert. What's a plug? It's just like a chunk of tobacco, and it's like kind of still wet. Of le oh, yeah. It's like juicy. Yeah, it's kind of wet and juicy, and you just bite a piece off, and then just put it in your lip. See, I didn't oh. like tobacco. Uh, I, I mean, I'm it's sorry. It's hot, though, boy. That thing is, it? is Yeah, it that burns? thing has got a lot of See, I don't like straight dip it. because it has like, doesn't have something in it that cuts into the lip. That shit would burn, man. Yeah, some of their mint to chew flavors. On cocoa leaves, yeah. you know what I'm saying, bro? You could go cocoa, yeah. In Brazil, they chew on this thing. It's like a, it's a plant. Everybody's just walking around chewing on What's it. What's that kratom, bro? And it's got something wild in it. Yeah. What's that kratom? It's just like a bootleg kind of dip. You ever dip? Mm -mm. Everyone on my team did though in high school. Yeah, Kat, you dip ever? I could see you dipping. What do you even think about women that dip, Cat? I actually haven't seen anybody dip before. That's not really big where I'm from. That's not big where anyone's from. Yeah, does anyone still dip? People Girls dip. don't, though, do they? Girls. Girls dip? 
Everyone. Memphis, Tennessee, they dipping, bro. Damn. <laughs> they dipping out there. Yeah, they dipping, motherfucker. <laughs> the, the mutants out in Memphis <laughs> dipping, <laughs> bro. <laughs> That's over in the dip belt, boy. Damn, that drip yeah. dip belt. You see a lot of guys with that, you know, you spit into a jar before they ask you a question. That's old school, man. It's so more, he's saying that just dipping in general? Yeah. <sighs> Again, if you're a Major League Baseball player making millions, dip that shit. If you're not... I don't think it, your financial status should determine whether or not you feel comfortable chewing, do, do, doing, dipping, chewing tobacco. Damn, you <laughs> got that? Okay. <laughs> Browser. All right. What I'm saying is this. He does man. have some brows on him, though. <laughs> I'm talking about you, dude. I don't have browsers. <laughs> yeah. Your name, Browser Shaw, brother. What I'm saying is this, brother. If you want to dip, dip your fucking face off, bro. But be original about it. Put a little plug up under one of your eyeballs. Hit that, Get that fucking golden <laughs> hitter right up there by your fucking sight socket, son. You know what I'm saying? Go deep, bro. Put it in your, your ear, bro. Yeah, do a quarter gram and pack one of your nostrils full, bro. You know what I'm saying? Change your game. Hide fucking four cocoa leaves and a couple of eucalyptus up in your ass, bro. That's what I'm saying. Do something unique. You're trying to get to the moon, put that dip in your anus. Yeah, put two ounces under your arm, bro, and just wait till you get fucking all heated up. Called the NASA. (laughs) Yeah, dude. The NASA high, bro. Do something naughty, because you can, there's other ways to get things into your body, man. So don't just take the easy route by taking it through the lip or taking it through the lungs, bro. Inject it between your toes. <laughs> oh, nah, man. But do something <laughs> unique, you know. Put a little bit right here and just hold your chin down for a long time. See if you get high. Till it Wash gets in your, your hair system. with it. See what happens. Yeah. Wash your hair with that spit cup. Spill all, put all that nicotine. Put it into your hair, man. See what color you get. Use it as moisturizer. Be brave, man, but dip your fucking balls off until they have to cut one of your nuts out, dude, because you have cancer. <laughs> now you're going to dip enough where you're not going to have teeth, but good luck, my man. Well, yeah, stop when you lose a tooth. That's a good That's good advice. I'm going to sting you. Thanks, man. Up I'm next, king it. we got Casey Gresseth from Wichita, Kansas. Oh, huh? Barry Sanders country. Oh, yeah. What's up, guys? This is Casey from Wichita, Kansas. Is he in a hailstorm? I'm gonna sting it for you. So my wife and several of her friends are Hell professional yeah. cosplayers. They make costumes. They go to comic cons. They run Patreons. Basically, make a living doing that kind of stuff. So, King it or sting it, cosplay. Guys, I love your show. Uh, Brennan, you look like the oldest valet at Macaroni Grill. You probably got a pocket full of other people's change. Uh, you know, you look like something I'd pay to have snaked out of my shower drain. <laughs> <laughs> that guy was good, man. <laughs> Dude, snake out of my shower drain. <laughs> the oldest valet at Macaroni Grill. That was pretty accurate, man. That was good, dude. That was pretty good. Uh, man. Cosplay. <laughs> Let's see, anyone who played cosplay. It's, it's Bill enough. Cosby, isn't it? People that dress up like Bill Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> Look, here's the thing. If that you whole tr- LARPing and cosplay, man, you know, th- that's what we used to call virgins when I was in high school. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't good, man. But a lot of them are freaks. If they're older and they're in those costumes, then you're talking about furries, bro. Yeah. You fucked with furries? <laughs> You know what Furies are? No, dude. Th- think of think of Rocky, the mascot for the Nuggets, but a s- but uh, it'll Rocky mess from that movie, Mask. You mean? Sure, that'd be a costume. Can we bring him up. That'd be a costume of some sort. Well, Cat was shaking her head about the cosplayers. Yeah, Cat knows more about it. Actually, Cat looks, looks like a cosplayer. I agree. Cosplayers are different. He brought up Patreon, so I'm thinking they're cosplayers who basically dress in like really skimpy clothes. Mm. It's all the like sexy superhero clothes from comic books. Yeah, so, like tits and nothing but like tits and ass. Wow. So it's kind of it's kind of uh, well, sign me up. Cartoon meets sex, kind of. Yes, exactly. Mm. There's that anime. Uh, I think you can cosplay anime as well. What's the difference between cosplay and LARP? Uh, LARP, I think you get dressed up and then you pretend to fight people. You gotta have a sword to LARP. Yeah. And cos, you get dressed up. Yeah, but your sword, your cock. Up. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Comic Con. That's cosplay. I thought it was Bill Cosby. People dress up like Bill Cosby and meet up in Indiana. Each other. (laughs) Yeah. Because I'm saying I dress up like cockroach and show up and meet some ladies. You know. Yeah, yeah, no. A lot of pill head ladies showing up out there too. Uh, So what was this question though? Just cosplay cosplay, in general. God, this is tough, man. I mean, 
If your girl's out of shape, shows up as Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman, it bums me out. You know what I'm saying? If your girl shows up as Wonder Woman, then yeah, dude. <laughs> Wonder Woman. If she shows it up, ain't good, she's, bro. Been, she's been like underground if shows for a up month. As Thor, I'm gonna shit my pants. You know what I'm saying? Um, ah, it's just not for me. I fucks with it. I'm not. If if, if you want to do it, do it. It's just well, not. What for are you me. saying? It's Brendan? not for me, man. But I. But I'm cool. If you're into it, I get it, dude. Right. If you want to dress up like Ren and Stimpy and fuck each other, do it. <laughs> well, they're not necessarily <laughs> fucking. This man is a wife, and they have her friends, and they're working. Yeah, bro. You think they dress up as fucking the Cookie Monster for the hell of it? Fuck no. They yeah. swing those outfits. They go to these fucking sheds and do each other, dude. <laughs> that's no. cosplay, bro. I don't think that's it. I'm telling you, not just going to dress up and pretend they're Wolverine and Professor X. I don't think that's it at all. I think sometimes they're showing a little bit of artwork and different makeup stylings. I think there's a lot more to it than you think there is. I don't think either of us know what the fuck we're talking about. What? I think you showed up in a costume of Nolan Ryan today. <laughs> Look at you, bro. <laughs> Rangers, baby. Tejas, boy. Tejas, all right, huh? Tejas, eh, papa. I'll uh, uh, king it. Dress up and get weird. I like cosplay, dude. I think it's a risky move sometimes, but... I, I assume wish... Theo's in an outfit every day. But I'd like to see more like wrestling, WWF type of cosplay too, you know? I'd like to see it go, you know... And I'd like to see some Bill Cosby. I'd like to see people, <laughs> you know, do sweaters and, and, and get out there and, you know, and uh, but not no do drugs or any sex crimes, but maybe just kind of... You know, you see a woman who's sleeping or something, you just put a sheet over or just a blanket. Make sure she's comfortable. <laughs> and give her jello. Yeah, recreate the narrative. Just make sure she's okay. Yeah. I'm with you. All right, boys. Last one. Uh, this is Aaron Taylor from Chicago. What it is, fellas. It's Aaron Taylor coming at you from Chicago, Illinois. Shut uh, Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Gang, bro. I got a king or stinger for you. It's starting to be summer around here. People are stepping out. They got their hats, their new shirts, their kicks, etc. But everything's store bought. It's branded. They got Nike socks with their Nike shoes, their Nike shirts. Or they got a champion sweater, what have you. A lot of brands. My keenest thing to you today is hand painted apparel. Mm. Much like this shirt right here. This Pisces Bros Pie food truck. That Damn. thing. You got the sting oh. out here serving up them creatine covered donuts. <laughs> you got the king driving the damn thing. <laughs> all in all, it's a nice little piece. Hand painted by myself. Okay. So I ask you, store bought, when branded, like Reebok, Champion, yeah, Starter, etc. Boo Boo, a lot of brands. Nestle, hand painted. <laughs> yeah, a lot of brands. Side note, I'm working on something on the back. I'm gonna throw a menu on there, and then I'd love to send it to you guys. Uh, Theo, I'm a big fan. I've okay. been rocking with you since way back when you did the Yahoo News updates oh, on yeah. Yahoo.com. Yeah, struggling. Brendan, you've been to my bar a couple times down here. I work Alcoholism. at Folly Hall. Uh, you've done a few shows, and then your homie, the big gay Al Brian Callen himself, he just filmed a special there. Wow. So both of you should come back in. We can get a drink, shoot the shit. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Catch us later. Cheers, bro. Buzz, Talia buzz, Hall, buzz, he bro. said, huh? Talia Hall, great spot in Chicago, bro. Big theater out there. I've never been there. That's a nice looking shirt, too. And look at that truck, That's a that great square truck. Shirt, man. I love a square truck like that. Yeah, me too. You they can don't... hide. It's an apartment. It's whatever you want. Yeah, it's like a food truck. <laughs> it's the King of the Sting food truck there. Yeah. It's not a bad investment. This boy can paint. We got that I hair. like it. I like okay. the original artwork. I like everything about this. It's always better to be original. You don't want to go out and everyone's wearing the same goddamn thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I remember when I was young, we had a store called Structure that they built. And I it was like, that store. and it was the only store that was really close enough. And so we'd all go to school like at the beginning of the year, and every, there would be like six shirts and everybody had them on. You know, everybody had on one of the six. And it was just weird. It felt like you were on these weird teams kind of all of a sudden. Yeah, I mean, if you're all wearing the same thing, it's the hands made tail, isn't it? So you got to mix it up. I like how this guy's doing his thing. Hopefully, you sell him shit. Yeah, look, I love some novelty. I love the, yeah, novelty's big stuff. I mean, when I was young, I remember, you know, I used to cut my own hair. I was probably about maybe 33. Yes. And, um, or do different stuff. You know, you got a wooden leg. You know, a guy I remember in Tucson had built an ashtray into the side of it. 
and he would uh, put it across one up on his leg like that, cross it over, and he'd have a little ashtray built right into the side. Smart. You know, so do something special. Hide a little bird seed in your beard, you know? Yeah, and everybody thinks you're magic, sure. but really you got a treat in there. Yeah, he's just trying to make sure. It's, uh, and that's why the birds are coming <laughs> by. Yeah, but I'm saying originality, no, I'm Brendan. with you. This is the original Are you shit. with me? I'm with you, dude. Shout out to this dude. This fucking piece of shit. That God, we gotta, work. we gotta charge this, dude. Huh? It, two months now, nobody's charged it. <laughs> who, can, who is we? It's us. Can Are we doing it or not? We're someone. You're right. Is that it, D? That's it, boys. Oh, oh God. Thank <laughs> God. So you're talking about cigarette charges and guys' legs and shit? I don't know, man. I said the guy had a ashtray built into his leg. He's called a pirate, bro. Yeah. Well, he's also called a pioneer. Okay. Yeah, you ain't talking lying. about novelty. Uh, Do something special. Hang a birdhouse off the back of your neck. You know. Do something unique. Put a basketball hoop on your head. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Let kids play fucking. You know, it's a traveling ball game. They got to find. <laughs> they got to find you, and they got to dunk. It's always an. Away, it's always <laughs> yeah. an away game. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's always an away. It's game. It's always a road game. There you go, bro. Don't, Don't touch, touch me, me but dude. Keep touching oh, me. Oh God. Uh, let's see. This comes out. Boom, boom, boom. I'm in Indianapolis this week. Indy, ba 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 ba, Indy, and then um in Nashville and Portland. Get your tickets tfatk.com. Theo, where are you gonna be, bro, bro? Gang, gang. July thirteenth, I'll be at um the Hollywood Improv in Los Angeles, and um Derek might do it set maybe if he's in town. Yeah, I don't even I'm, think about it. I'm there. Okay. Well, so now we got Derek in, and um if you're in town, when what day is that? It's uh, a Saturday night. But no pressure. Uh, you're welcome to if you right, want to. I think right, if I'm in town, I'm there. I okay. think I'm on the road, though. Um, but yeah, that's it. And to those tickets are available at slash tour. That's it, bro. That's it, man. Don't touch me, man, but the, keep touching but me. But keep touching me. Kat, thank you so much. Derek. Love you guys. Love you too, man. Thank you for your, uh, for being here with us. And what else? Did we cover everything today, bro? We covered Brandon? it, dude. Thanks for being humans, everybody. Yeah, thanks for being humans. I'll go. Stay.